Eh karibu sana mtazamaji na msikilizaji wa Celeb Kona KE. I remind ndio that today morning we woke up to some certain news. And the news were about uh, President William Ruto uh, William Ruto's company that is called Starbucks International. A company that is involved in the field of petroleum in not only in the country but also in Uganda because most of it it is it is based its operation in Uganda now something triggered this video i have been doing some due diligence into this company the company is owned by the president of the republic of kenya president william ruto but also something else caught my eye the business that this uh, this company got into starting off uh, from yesterday evening where it launched its operation in the fuel jet uh, i mean in the jet fuel industry is what caught my eye you know that the the, the field of jet jet fuel or jet uh, jet a1 is a very lucrative field so i always say that these are fields that are left for, for people with money but which company has always been known not only in kenya but in east central and southern africa in this field and, the, and in this market of the distribution of jet fuel or plain uh, fuel tunaelewana it's a company called dalbit petroleum company dalbit petroleum company is a company held by one billionaire amfri karioki Amfri Karioki should I remind you that Amfri Karioki was among the top and uh, the top finances of President William Ruto's campaign back in the year 2021 2022 and 20 and, and 2020 Amfri Karioki even faced the, the wrath of President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta for funding the what for funding the, uh, the the campaign of William Ruto but should I remind you that William Ruto is somebody that can never be trusted to hold his head of the bargain. Now I will take you back to a certain story that we have heard a few days ago. A story involving President William Ruto and his great friend David Langat. David Langat is a tycoon, a billionaire from the Rift Valley region who has based his, his operation in Mombasa. David Langat it is believed that during the campaign period, President William Ruto approached his friend David, asked him to go ahead and acquire some money for him through his uh, companies uh, as a loan. That David Langat should go ahead and secure a loan uh, with his, his properties and his companies as securities for the loan. He acquired loans worth billions of money. And Ruto promised that once I get that seat, we will take care of the money problem we will we won't be having that money problem but when ruto got into that position he forgot about david langat and left him to take care of the loans that he had taken for ruto to campaign back in the year 2022 and 2021 are you getting the point so david langat has gone ahead to pay those loans to a point that he was unable to take care to pay to pay the loans so the auctioneers came knocking uh, once the auctioneers came knocking, they took his property. His, some of his property were auctioned in August last year, 2023. And some of the other properties are being auctioned this year, 2024. Now, these properties that are being auctioned, it is believed that Ruto is buying them in the auctioneer's market at a very, very standardized price. Yet, he was supposed to secure his friend. He was supposed to protect his friend. He was the one that was supposed to pay these loans because he, the money was acquired on his behalf to campaign with the money. Now come to Amfri Karioki. Amfri Karioki is a multi-multi-billionaire. Are you getting me? This is a man that has invested very largely in the petroleum industry. Now Dalbit Company, which is Amfri Karioki's company, has operation ongoing in different African countries. Nine of African countries, their uh, Dalbit, Dalbit International has operations happening there. It is believed that they have acquired tenders even from the United Nations. Uh, 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 
according to a certain publication by the standard about one year or two ago it is believed that billionaire Africa Ryoki Dalbit company won 796 million UN fuel contract now listen the Dalbit Petroleum Company, a company associated with billionaire Amfri Karioki, won 796 million deal to fuel United Nations planes in Uganda and Democratic Republic of Congo. Dalbit Petroleum, a subsidiary of Janus Continental Group, JCG, and op has operations in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Kenya, Mauritius, South Sudan, Tanzania, the United Kingdom, and Zambia, among others. According to the Janus website, it is an international conglomerate comprising market-leading companies in the energy, hospitality, and real estate sectors. Mr. Karioki's other interests include, yeah, we leave that. Now, Dalbit secured two major petroleum product supply contracts with the World Food Program, WFP, in Gulu, northern Uganda, and Goma, in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo. For many, Mr. Karioki burst into the business scene in Nairobi's Green Corner restaurant, a far cry from his multi-billion shilling empire. Now, let's go back to comparing the business of Mr. Karioki with that of President William Ruto. Because the President of the Republic of Kenya is targeting the billionaires. And most of the billionaires that are being targeted, he doesn't care. Uh, uh, le let's, not, let's not base it. On sijui wo ana, anaribu biashara za wakale, sijui anaribu biashara za wakikuyu. This man is out for everybody's head. Now he is out there destroying the, them not to benefit the people of the Republic of Kenya, but to finish the, the, the people of the Republic of Kenya. Because to kingia kwa field kama ya fuel, jet fuel, ini biashara very lucrative. His Starbucks company yesterday, he launched his, its affiliation with, the, with uh, the aviation sector in Kenya. Now, it will be supplying jet fuel to the JKIA planes. Yani ndege zile zikopale jomo Kenyatta International. Ambazo, most of them zilikuwa zinapewa mafuta na Dalbit International. Zitakuwa sasa zinapokea mafuta kutokea kwa kampuni ya nani? Kutokea kwa kampuni ya President William Ruto. So, Amfri um, Karyoki is certainly being thrown out of the business in his own country by a man that he himself supported and believed that he will secure his interest in the business when he becomes the president of the Republic of Kenya. Now he has stand out kukua yendi anamuruka. Ndiyo sababu ni mwapea example ya story ya David Langat. Ejalishi, ejalishi ni nini umefanyia Ruto? Ruto, gashagu alishiku alikuwa nadragiwa out ya nyumba yake akiwa ndede. Tunelewana? Right now, Gashagwa Ruto ndi ya namuangalia hivi, akiwa na dunga dungo visu ndi ya tolewe uko, uko, uko nini? Uko kwa ofisi yake, Annex. Yeah, because Ruto cannot be loyal to anybody. Ruto is only loyal to money and to power. He is loyal to money and power. Let me tell you, it will not be long before Ruto arushe ke mani ishongwa tini ya basi. Are you getting the point? Now, what will happen here? The operations that mostly oh, Dalbit International Pia ilikuwa inausika kufuel military planes. Tunaelewana? Dalbit International iyo, iyo contract kwa sasa kutoka soipani tuya nyomba dogo aingie uko ye ye ndiye alipea Starbex iyo, iyo nini iyo contract ya kufuel military planes. Now from Starbex kupewa contract ya military planes Juzi mumekuwa mkisikia nini ya kwamba kumekuwa na shortage ya jet fuel pale JKIA ya kwamba mafuta ndege haipatikani. Mafuta ndege haikuwa inapatikana siju 3 to 4 days ago then jana Ruto anakuja ku launch Starbucks. Muna kanga mnajiuliza hii maswali. Do you sit down and really ask yourself this question because Starbucks International is a company where Ruto Ojeni, and I asked this question earlier. Hii kampuni, ukiangalia, eti inafanya kazi Uganda, inafanya kazi in a foreign country, but its board of directors is comprised of college in community only. Aina, kampu, aina kabila lingine? When you look at Dalbit International in comparison to hii eh, kampuni ya Ruto ya Starbucks, 
this company is in over 20 in over 20 countries and it has over 20 nationalities people working there it is based it has its operation in nine countries which are active right now it has even operation outside kenya because it has operations currently in the united kingdom it has operation currently in saudi arabia as i can see it has employees over 50 of them from different nationalities who are said to be mostly and i repeat mostly from different parts of the world see college in peke lakini ingia kwa starbucks go go look at starbucks in comparison to dalbit ambayo inakuja kuirusha nje kwa biashara ndio utagundua ya kwamba yo kenya kidaendelea kuturamba ruto will continue being a multi billionaire wakati sisi tunauma nje i leave it there mimi nakukumbusha tu e ni celeb kona ke make sure una subscribe or tell us what you want us to do tell us unataka tufanye nini next kwa sababu hatutatulia hatutakatini tunyamaze when the country is being drawn to the dogs such things ndio zina, zinaweza kufanya ufunguke macho it's not only you the hustlers ambao mlibetroiwa na rice mm. he had to do something else even to his own people that went ahead to fund him ambao walimpea pesa ya kuweza kusimamisha serikali jamaa amewaruka kipetero ki yesu eh? it's a clear indication ruto can't be trusted ruto cannot and will never be trusted to lead the people of the republic of kenya in the right direction maoni yako ni yapi acha comment yako hapo ndani ya comment section tuungane katika video zetu zijazo